One small idea. One small grape. Have you ever had an idea that hits you like a freight train, but fleets just as fast? An idea that Macbeth would say struts and frets its hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. I know you've had, right? We've all had. What if you could focus on that idea to affect some meaningful change? One small grape turned into wine in what is for many producers a highly inefficient process. My idea was to focus on the cause of this inefficiency to affect great change. Causa et effectus. What if I told you that that glass of wine that you enjoy was hurting the environment? Would that give you a guilty conscience? My research will change a process that's over 100 years old. A process that once changed, one will never know has changed. A process whose output will touch the lips of many of you here today and millions worldwide. I'd like to take the next few minutes to talk to you about a simple glass of white wine. A simple glass of white wine whose production inefficiency equates for the entire white wine production of New Zealand. A production inefficiency that not only equates to a revenue loss of over a billion dollars, but worse, emits over 250,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide needlessly into our atmosphere year on year. In an age when we're looking at cars, jet engines, electricity supply grids, even the poor cows in the field are being probed and prodded for their greenhouse gas emissions. Should we not focus on this? I think so. You see, white wine has instabilities, and a major source of instability in white wine is called protein heat instability. This is where certain pathogenesis-related proteins that get exposed to the stimuli of heat, a simple temperature rise, unfold, and turn an otherwise clear wine hazy. Now, if this was to occur after the bottling process has occurred, it becomes a major concern for producers as consumers will not purchase a hazy bottle of white wine. So where does one look to solve such a large-scale problem? But to the tiniest of places, to a particle so small that if I was to take a hair in my head, I would have to split it 50 times to get down to its size. A particle so small, it's like staring into a black abyss. I'm creating porous nanomaterials specifically sized and engineered to remove haze-forming proteins from white wine. To do this, I'm creating a team of special agents. No, not like James Bond, but just as resourceful. I'm creating a team of surface active agents. These agents are called micellas, and I can create micellar structures integrated to a simple particle of sand, sized specifically for the proteins I wish to remove. Furthermore, I'm re-engineering the surface of these particles to give them a thin layer of supercharge to make them even more effective at protein removal. Early results show that proteins can be removed, and more importantly, that there are no sensory deleterious impacts to the wine itself. Overall, making for a much more efficient and environmentally friendly white wine production process. So I'd like to leave you with a couple of thoughts. The first, the next time you have that fleeting idea, think to yourself, ask yourself, is this my one small grape? If I focus on this idea, can I affect meaningful change for myself, for my family, for friends, for community, society? Then try it. Following that, and certainly a bit easier, on that beautiful sunny day, when you're drinking that cold Chardonnay, Riesling, or Sauvignon Blanc you love so much, think of my nano-engineered particles, not only giving you clear wine, but now a clear conscience. Thank you.